So we've got the new Stegodon Jungle EX synthetic 13 and a half thousand pound winch here to tinker with. I have their older version. Um, same 13 and a half thousand pound. It's just the older version, synthetic still, with the remote controls that came with two wireless remote controls, but they remind me more of garage door openers than remotes. So we're going with this. This is going to go on the front of the 2008 Super Duty. That video will come eventually here once the weather breaks. Um, we are putting 2017 and up. Um, front winch mount bumper on that uh, we will record all that and do that also um, but I thought I'd just start opening this bad boy up kind of show what's in the box how it comes I opened it up real quick I'm impressed with it just looking at it initially here uh, I think it's gonna be perfect for what little bit I'll use it I'm not a hardcore off-roader or anything like that I want it more so for if we do get bound up somewhere trying to get a boat out of a weird boat launch or taking the snowmobiles out up to the property up north you know we don't plow the driveway and I've been stuck in stuck in the driveway more times than I care to count so it just comes in handy just for mainly getting myself out maybe getting someone else out here and there um, not going to be used every day, not going to be beat on or anything. So I went with a more budget friendly than most. Um, the hook, I like the hook. It's got a nicer, heavier duty hook on it. Um, feels very solid. I like that a lot. It comes with some, a little bit of hardware. Of course, they got the hook pull tender whatever they call that I'm a fan of the green that's a selling point for me for anything green if it's green chances are I'm gonna have to have it a little bit of extra cable here for the ground seems to be heavy gauge pretty decent cable inside main control box here this cut off there, a little better always have a good sharp knife tough to beat these I got a bunch of these Husky Milwaukee they're all nice to have with replaceable razor blades but I love these things I'm sure you all got them most everyone has them now but I love them so the big selling point for this, for me, was I like the way the the new controllers are set up. I like that it's one standalone remote, um, does the wireless, and you can also plug it in and, and use it if need be. Um, that's going to be huge, huge for me, but I like the way it's set up. It's straightforward. Nice grip, nice little magnet on the back so you can stick it to something and drive off and forget it or have it fall and be lost forever. It does only plug in one way, as you can see. Got nice plenty, plenty of cable. Another huge point for me. Control box, nice, seems pretty compact, nothing crazy. Really got to get a bigger shop to work out of, instead of the back room on a little bench, but in due time. Nice fair lead. Might have to do something, maybe get that powder coated white match the truck or do something to change it up a little bit but here's the winch unit itself we're leaking a little oil out of it maybe
maybe. To chuck that a little oily. Probably not a big deal. Um, I like it. I'm, I'm impressed with it. So I've got the other one. I really haven't used it much, but um, that's set up on a receiver mount. Um, like just a couple of the big, there they are, 200 amp, 250 amp uh, connectors like you'd see on an electric high low is all I used. Um, this thing's nice. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with how the rope set up. It seems pretty compact. The green, again, I'm a fan of the green. So if it's green, chances are you're going to wind up with my money because I'm a sucker for green. Um, not a whole lot to go over really until we get it all hooked up and wired up and on the vehicle but like I said we'll we'll post that video as we start putting bumpers on we're gonna do a front and rear bumper um, I put a short up the other day on the bumpers that I bought I'm probably going to that a little bit more detail one of these days but for now this is what we've got this is what we're gonna set up and and put on there anyone has any questions on it let me know see if I can answer them or at least point you in the right direction so this is what we're doing for now I'll put another video up with the bumpers in more detail as soon as I get them recorded thanks